Hey guys, John Vaporonic Technologies here. Want to talk about a question that we get every single day, multiple times. Uh, people are trying to decide whether they're going to do an open loop system or a closed loop system. And I want to walk over here and show you a closed loop system on the new cabinet. So right there, that is a closed loop system on the new 1200P cabinet. Uh, behind it, you can see the Gladiator, or excuse me, not the Gladiator, but the HD. That's a huge closed loop system with filter paper. But people want to know if they should buy a closed loop or an open loop system. And my response always used to be, when I was talking to you about this, is do you have a drain and water readily available? If you have a way to drain the machine, that's easy, not carrying buckets or anything like that because that's, that's time consuming and cumbersome. But a way to drain the machine, either in a floor drain or outside somewhere, in a safe spot, and you have water connection close by, then buy an open loop system. Um, if you don't have those options and those amenities available, then you have to buy a closed loop system so that you have water and a way to basically recycle and recirculate the water. I think one of the misconceptions in the industry today is that a closed loop system is going to stay cleaner longer. That's not necessarily true. It really does depend on what you're blasting, but what I found is that the open loop systems obviously stay cleaner longer. Why? Because you have a fresh inflow of water and a dirty outflow of water. So that's why an open loop system is going to stay cleaner longer. Closed loop, you're just recirculating everything. Yes, you filter the water, but the, you can't take the dingy stench out of the water completely. You can put charcoal filters, you can do filter paper. There's a million different ways you can filter the water, yes, but you're not going to make it as clean as fresh water entering the cabinet. So if you have a drain or a way to drain the cabinet easily and you have water, then by all means buy an open loop system. But if you don't, or you're wanting to save resources, then buy a closed loop. Um, the prices are certainly different, yes, because there's more that goes into making those machines on our side, and also um, there's more materials there. So that's why we have to charge a different price for it. But again, you could set any of these cabinets behind me up as open or closed loop. Um, it's just whatever you need, uh, you know, in your in your factory, or in your business, or in your home garage. So uh, you let us know what you want. Again, we can't tell you what to do. We can only give you suggestions and recommendations. Those are my recommendations to you if you're trying to decide between a closed loop or an open loop. And definitely don't look at it just from the money side. You have to look at it from what you have available. Because let's face it, in this factory that you can see behind me and back here, we do not have water and a drain easily accessible in this factory. So that's why we have to use closed loop. Also, I've been in millions, well, not millions, that's excessive, but I've been in hundreds of factories where they are in the same situation. They do not have water, they do not have drains, so they have to use closed loop. I've been in some factories that have drains and water easily available. Some factories have even made a spot for these cabinets um, with, with drains and water available. So they've already set up an area in their factory. Obviously you and I are not in that situation right now or we wouldn't be having this conversation, I think. So let us know how we can help. We can give you all of the information on both cabinets. If you guys have questions on any of our machines or equipment, give the sales team a call or shoot them an email. Thanks for watching.